evaporation. Let's start with some activities to understand evaporation. Activity 1. Take equal amount of water in a shallow dish and in a glass. Keep these on a table, uncovered. Observe after 2 to 3 days. The water in the shallow dish evaporates faster. This is because evaporation takes place faster when the surface area from which water evaporates is large. Activity 2. Wash your hands with water. Do not wipe them. Just hold them up under a fan. Note how long it takes to get your hands dry. The hands dry up fast as the rate of evaporation increases due to the flow of air or breeze circulated by the fan. Activity 3. Wash your hands again with water. Do not wipe them. Just sit with your palms up, but do not sit under a fan. Do not sit in the open. Sit inside a room. Note how long it now takes to get your hands dry. The hands dry slower as there is no air or breeze. When you sweat after being in the sun or after a physical activity, you sit under a fan. What happens? You feel cool and after a while your sweat dries up. Where has the sweat disappeared? It has evaporated. It is in the air now. Thus, we can say that the rate of evaporation is faster when the temperature is high, when the surface area from which water evaporates is large and when there is flow of air. Condensation Take two stainless steel glasses. Put a few pieces of ice in one. Keep the other glass empty. After 10 to 15 minutes, you will observe that there are tiny droplets of water on the outer surface of the glass with ice. But there is nothing on the outer surface of the other glass. Where did the water come from? Water vapour present in the surrounding air cools down as soon as it comes in contact with the cool surface of the glass with ice and changes into liquid, that is, water. The process by which water vapour changes into liquid on cooling is called condensation. This property of water to change into water vapour on heating and again turn into liquid water on cooling makes life possible on earth. When clouds become very heavy with water vapour and cannot hold any more moisture, they release it in the form of rain and snow. This is called precipitation.